Hey everybody, G Bear here, out in the middle of the desert, getting ready to do a little bit of electrical experimenting. I thought you might be interested in this. What you see here on the table are some of the things that I'm going to be using. Um, it's going to be very simplistic, but uh, quite interesting, and I think you'll enjoy. Anyway, let's get started. What I'm going to first do here is, you'll see three wires right here in front of you. There's a copper wire, an aluminum wire, and this is a steel wire. Okay, now those are dissimilar metals, and that's what you want when you're going to create electricity out of the ground or out of a tree or anything like that. So we're going to start off. I originally uh, got this one because the ground is so hard out here in the desert that in order to push that aluminum wire and that copper wire into the ground, it just keeps on bending back and forth. It's a pain in the neck. So I'm going to use this to pre-poke a hole. But then I thought, well, it's a dissimilar metal. Let's try this one um, with the aluminum wire and with the copper wire and see if we get voltage across either one. All right, and what you see there in that cup is uh, I found that cup laying here in the desert and it's perfect for experimenting. I've got water in it. I just took some water out of my solar shower, which is right over there. And as you can see, what I'm going to do is move this. I've got my little stool set up here on top of my barbecue so I can grab it as I walk by. But uh, we're going to go out um, halfway between uh, my table and the shower here in the middle of nothing. There's no, no wires running out there. There's nothing buried in the ground or anything like that. It's just undisturbed ground from where I've been walking back and forth. So let me move the camera over as I grab my stool on the way out. It's a lot easier sitting down than bending over and let's do it about right here I guess it'd be work and let me see if I can't level this out a little bit. All right and we're gonna slope it down. That gives us a pretty good look at the ground. All right, so you see it looks like there's a little bit of grass down here. We'll, uh, we'll utilize that as a, the area to work in. I'll come back over to the table and get my wires, my voltmeter, and my water. All right, so I don't think this tripod is going to work. It's going to be up too high for you to get readings with the sun glaring. So what I'm going to do is disconnect the camera from there for right now. And I'll come over here, put my water down, put my meter down, and get my wires laid out here. I think I can do this one-handed while I'm holding on. To the camera. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is let's set the voltmeter on 20 volts DC. All right, let me get in closer and you can see we got zero on there. Now, I've got, uh, I I forgot to bring my alligator clips with me and my jumper wires, but I had this one alligator clip laying in the van. So I put, clamped it onto my uh, negative lead so that uh, that frees up one hand. But uh, here's what's going to happen. I make a little room here, put the water out in front, and let's see if I can get this in. Ah, only wants to go in about a quarter inch. So let's see if I can make a pre-hole here. There we go. And we'll stick the copper down inside there. All right. And we'll do a pre-hole here. And we'll stick the aluminum down inside there. Ah. Our copper is going to be, for this experiment, is going to be a positive lead. And the aluminum one will be the negative. So I'm going to clamp onto the negative. 
I'm gonna move this over so it's easier to see. And we'll grab a hold of this probe and let's test this and see what we get. Oh, look at that, I got a quarter of a volt DC, or just around a quarter of a volt. It's dropping as we watch it. So the initial voltage off that was a, about a quarter and it dropped down to 18. Okay, now, let's put the steel lead in right over here. And we'll use that as the positive and see what happens. Oh, only 0.03. Let's reverse that. Let's use the steel as a negative and the copper as a positive. Oh, 0.09, 0.08. All right, so that's not really efficient. Now if we use the steel as a negative and the copper, oh look at that, we got a third of a volt. Oh, that's pretty good. All right, now, watch this. This was stuck into the dry desert ground, so I'm just gonna add water, enough so that all three probes here have got wet. Okay, they're in the water, as you can see. Let's see what happens when I go onto the positive pro pole now. Oh, look at that. Three quarters, 3.8 volts. What a jump. Okay, let's go to the aluminum. 0.75, dropping to 0.7372, okay? That's just out of the ground. And that's only one little battery that I just made coming out of the ground. That's pretty cool. All right. I'm going to cut off here and go to the next experiment on a new video.